Hey everyone! In this tutorial, I will share how Randy created this reflection of the presenter in the floor using Create Studio 3. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Keep watching, and I will show you how! This is Patrick taking over for Randy. Whoa! Whoa! With Create Studio 3 tips short. For this demonstration, I will use the champion stage background that is available in Create Studio 3, but this technique can be applied to any background that has a reflective area. What I like about this background is the shiny, reflective floor. I also like the ability to easily change the text on the screen behind the podium. There, that's better! Once I have the text changes made, I will duplicate the background multiple times and align them to cover the duration of the speech. Drag your character onto the timeline. Any character will do. I am using this customized Lenka and will give her idle and talking actions. Lenka is sized according to the podium and placed just off-center. Once you are satisfied with the size, position, and character actions, the next step is to duplicate the character track. Lock the top track so we don't inadvertently change it. Click on the Effects and Components icon in the top left. It looks like this. Click on the Color Fill Effect and drag it onto the bottom Lenka track. In the Overlay panel, change the color to black. Open the Properties panel and flip Lenka vertically. Now you can see the black silhouette. Move the silhouette and do some resizing so her waist to shoulders is on the reflective surface. There are several things to fix, and the first one is to remove the silhouette from the non-reflective surfaces. Click on the plus sign above the canvas and click on Pen Tool. Put a point on this line to the left of Lenka. Put another point on the line to the right of Lenka and drag the mouse before releasing the button. See those two white dots? They control the curve of the line at the blue point. Double click on the first blue point to add the curve controls there also. Make adjustments, using the white dots until the blue line matches the curvature of the stage's reflection. Then add a point below the canvas to the right, add another point below the canvas to the left, and close the path by clicking on Connect Shape. With the bottom Lenka track selected, click on Track Mat on the left. In the Track Mat panel, change mask from None to Path. In this case, the default type of Luma looks pretty good, but in most cases, Alpha is the better choice, so I will choose Alpha to show how to make that reflective. See the reflection of the podium, how it is diffused and blurry. We will use that as a guide to control Lenka's reflection. Go back to the Overlay panel by clicking on Effects, clicking on Overlay, and reduce the opacity to 75%. Now the black changes into Lenka's reflection. There is another opacity in settings, and I like to reduce that value also, which allows more of the background color to show through. In this case, I like a value of 50%. That looks good. Next, click on the Effects and Components icon and drag the blur effect onto the bottom Lenka track. I found a value around 7 works best. The Lenka reflection looks like the podium reflection. Let's play that and see how it looks. There you go, that is how to add a nice touch to a video with a reflective surface. Hey everyone, have a good day and happy creating.